See, last year we took it game by game and tried to win the small battles uh, to improve. And I don't think our, our approach will be much different. We just try to put some good systems in place and get a feel for each other, build some combinations of friendlies, and um, we'll also give a good indication of that. I think we were we always in for a good fight, you know, even against the Hurricane and stuff, we were always in, in the 60 minutes into the game and then we, we peeled off the last 20, you know. And in a competition like Super Rugby, you can't, you can't afford to put your foot off the, off the pedal. To get this preparation in place and all the little things, it's, 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 quite, it's quite exciting for a lot of us, for the management, for us as players. And as I mentioned, everyone bought in from, from minute one. In terms of a preparation, you can't go into a a world-class competition like this without proper pre-season preparation. I was having a laugh with our, with our conditioning coach at the start of pre-season, saying this is possibly the worst time for a rugby player, and he just had a grin at me and said, yeah, it is, but it's the best time for me as a conditioning coach. So, but I think the fact that we saw results, that we week in, week out, we've improved as a team, improved as different individuals, coming back from the December break, that is quite a positive sign. So I think that, that sort of gives one motivation and light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, it was tough, I won't lie. Um, those seven weeks were hell. But yeah, now we're just putting in the final touches and we're gonna be ready to go. You know, pre-season is a fundamental part of playing rugby, but it's not really the fun part of playing rugby. You know, we don't really get judged on, on you know, times and weights we lift. I think in this moment, we are meeting personal best that I've never had in my life with all my fitness tests coming in now. So that's for your personal confidence level, but also of, of, of binding a squad together. If you suffer together, then you build bonds. We have something special going on. There's an awesome vibe around the players, and we're just a band of brothers. There's no comfort zones here in the, in the squad. You know, we, we knew that we had to work harder than other squads. And I think at this moment, I think our confidence level is quite high because we know we put in the, the hard yards. The guys look hungry. We had a bit of contact today and, you know, the guys were flying in excited. And that's just against each other, you know. Uh, when we start playing against other teams, it's going to be, it's going to be even better. Well, I just can't wait to get on the field and play. I mean, it's basically every young, young player's dream to play Super Rugby. Each year, you, you try to become better and build on things that you, that you put in place. Yeah, I believe uh, there's, there's quite, quite excitement looking forward to this year's competition. You know, there's, there's a fine line being desperate and hungry, and we, we're desperate. We really want to, to, to win over our crowd, win over our province, and, and, and stake our claim saying that we do belong in this competition.